we've got a real big problem that these two bins are like for this whole street for all the houses and there's always way too much and then the dogs come along the wild dogs and they just like rip everything apart and the rubbish goes everywhere and it's yeah just chaos so right now i mean everyone is aware that the roads in russia are pretty bad but right now because of the amount of snow we've had this year it's, they're crazy it's absolutely crazy look at these potholes like it's just mental okay do you want to see something else like this is a two-lane road but what happens in russia is look once the queue gets quite long for people turning left another lane forms and then maybe a, another lane after that's going to form and there's going to be loads of people turning left or loads of people go, going into one small lane if you've ever been to moscow or to any of the big cities then you'll find that there is probably like a two or three lane road and then there's a hard shoulder and people will start queuing on the hard shoulder and then there'll be maybe some like rough land next to the hard shoulder and people start queuing on that uh like land there arid land and then um there might be like a tram line or something like that and people will start queuing on the tram line and like the two three lane road becomes like a six laner somebody asked me in the comments about the orange trucks well here's one And I think it's a private one. Two years ago, KFC opened up in our town. We've now got six of them, six KFCs. There's a brand new one just opened up just over here, literally opposite my house. All down the road, we've got flags now because we're preparing for the May Day celebrations. It's really crazy so the president of russia has decided uh, that he's going to give the people 10 days public holiday to celebrate may day from now on so we've got 10 days holiday coming up so i've just come to where my studio is located because someone wants to uh use it when my friend's going to make a video there so i've come to give her the key and um you're just waiting for her to arrive now because i've been in russia for so long i start to lose my accent i have to be back in the uk for a couple of days to really get my accent back and um i used to speak completely different like really completely different i'm used to speaking english to to russians who want to understand english so i speak slowly to them so that's how i'm used to speaking in the past i was a when i was a kid i was a right rude boy completely rude boy i speak like completely different to how i speak now uh, maybe i've just grown up but when i'm back in the uk it all comes back again now i know in the uk you're not allowed to drive these things but i've got a crazy toy for the summer absolutely crazy uh, i had one of these before it was a bit slow it went about 20 kilometers an hour this one goes 60 or 75 even if you chip it kilometers an hour check out this bad boy it is crazy in fact while i'm waiting i might have a mess around on it now it's so crazy i actually need keys to start the thing in russian everyone loves photo sessions so in russia everyone loves photo sessions and these people behind us are doing photo session now uh, it's such a popular thing here if you look on people's instagram on people's uh contacted facebook professional photos everywhere it's always professional photos here we've got the war mo monument war memorial as it as it's called and um and the kids playground next to it in a month's time this place will be completely packed everyone's sitting outside in the evenings it's a bit wild really good laugh here I always have these like epic conversations like I just had a crazy conversation with this guy about the um, Electro Summer Cat which is the scooter and I completely forgot that I'm trying to make a vlog and there's just a guy hanging around near my car and we had a good chat about it and stuff and then I realised oh man I should have filmed it it was a really cool guy and we had a good laugh 
So this right here is where the magic happens. Oh, got an unpaid bill here. And this says, pay attention, the video is in progress, film is in progress. Please, you know, try and be quiet. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> because I make videos. Affiliate marketing is what I do. And this is where the magic happens. On the second floor, we've got someone made this photo for me. And this is another girl that uses my studio from time to time. And I thought it'd be nice for me to just make the thing the same as hers. Here we've got a uh, thing of someone made for my birthday. I was on the front cover of a magazine. That's pretty cool. This is something as well. This is something that was made for me. It says, break the glass in the case of emergency. Pretty funny as well. So I don't go to him. So it's really weird filming conversations with friends because your friends don't want to be in the videos, you know what I mean? So you're like filming and they're like, turn the camera off. So you get to say hello, whatever, and then, and then you have to turn the camera off. Always, I don't know if you guys have seen a blogger called Shami. Uh, Australian guy is really funny, just does loads of crazy stuff, but all the people he knows, they allow him to film and he gets up to crazy stuff. And wherever he is with a camera, he's filming. I need to grab some flowers. I'll tell you the story on the way. And um, I've come to my friend's flower shop. It was closed before. I'm hoping it's going to be open. If she's there, we can have a good chat. This is my friend's shop. Her name is Maria Masha. There she is. Mm, they're open. Здравствуйте. Oi, a Masha nieta. So here's the deal. I uh, saw one of my friends on Instagram today. She posted stories saying, uh, showing basically showing how her apartment's been cleaned by professional cleaners, and she showed the flowers on her kitchen table were dead. So I thought I'd replace them for her. Feel like a bit of a cop walking in filming me giving me giving away a gift hmm a bit strange that's a bit and is this robot at the alina and is this robot at the alina yeah 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 I saw on the internet that you have been sweet in the middle of the house. Yes, you have a general walk. You are sweet when you are still alive. And you are already in the middle. So I went to the place to sit. Yes, I went to the place to sit. And they said that you have to sit in the middle of the house. Yes, thank you very much. It was very unexpected. This is a typical Vladimir thing. Not a Russian thing, but a Vladimir thing, look. The machine doesn't work. So you get to the queue, try and get in the car park, the fucking machine doesn't work. Great. So I've got a few minutes before I need to go and uh, do my next task, which is also buying a present for a birthday. And um, I thought I'd come here to the train station because this is a typical building of Soviet futurism. What do you think? Now I think that these uh, structures that were built, these Soviet futurism type buildings, they look like psychiatric hospitals from like scary American films like The House on Haunted Hill and stuff like that. Especially now they're kind of like in disrepair. If this was all painted white again, it would probably look pretty cool. Well, it started to piss it down and the lens is getting covered in rain. I hope the wind doesn't destroy this footage, but um, yeah. That says Vladimir, if you're wondering. Most of you probably know already, but that's the name of the city I live in. It's 
So this basically says that in 1895 Lenin came here to meet one of the first um, Russian Marxist people, basically. No, it's there it says. Можно я спрошу по поводу вокзала? Что думаешь, красиво здание или нет? Нет, по-моему, здание да? красивое. Вам лучше сходить в ту сторону. А, ладно. Просто знаешь, что иностранцев они очень любят вот типа такие бывшие советские вот это вот mm -hmm. вот такие вещи. А в России не любят, да? В России не любят. Понятно, понятно. Ладно. From Deutschland? А? Deutschland? Нет, нет, из Англии. Англия. Из Англии, да. Вот. А вы куда поедете сегодня? I'm coming to the Kovrov town. Ah, uh, Kovrov. You are from Kovrov, Kovrov, yes, or not? Yes. Uh, okay. I'm studying in this town. Uh, I, I hate this fucking country. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? Where you want to go to live? Where would you I like? I want to live in the United States. Yeah? Ah, uh, okay. I've been there once when I was young. Yeah, I think it's good. They have everything for the people, service, all the services. My friend works in Kovrov. He says the roads are so bad. The roads are so yeah, bad. so bad. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank okay. You so much, Good luck. Good luck. So we've got some symbols up here, but I've got no idea what they actually are. Hmm. You can see that the Soviet clock has gone now. They've replaced it with one that looks the same, but is digital instead. Pretty cool views, actually. So up here, I don't know if you can make it out. I've got a couple of churches. This is the main cathedral up here. And we've got a bit more the wall going around Vladimir up there another church over there and then another church over here and then this is the building from the other side Vladimir written again on it I don't know if maybe the trains can see when they uh, when the people are getting off the train they can see Vladimir and that's why they have it like that I'll uh, go grab my mask and we'll have a quick look inside though I think there's nothing really interesting in there I bet there's no one wearing the mask Let's go and have a look. I'm sure everyone's without the mask in there. As you can see, like virtually everyone is without the mask. There's no one caring at all whatsoever. I really like, I'm really a fan of this Soviet double glazing. It's really cool, it's actually triple glazing now because this is already double glazing with the gap in the middle and then more double glazing. And there's that thing up there. I wonder what's inside that. It's pretty cool. Now let's see if this thing's working because they had a scam running last time I came here. Basically what they did is the machine doesn't work. They come up to you and say, well, can you pay cash? You say, well, I want to pay card. They'll say, no, can you pay cash, please? And the only reason to ask you that is because they go and then manually open the gate for you and probably keep the cash. Получилось, получилось, да? Да мне давно мне надо было подойти. Здравствуйте. Серьезно? Серьезно? О, прикольно, как я снимаю тоже в этот момент, да? Вот это я, ребята, не очень большой фанат черный. Коричневый. Членов. Но, наверное, вкусно будет. Очень. Надо его как просто покушать или ей отсосат? Ну, думаю, его надо медленно. Медленно, да? Облизат. Молодец. А ты хорошо. Ладно, давай не будем. Женя has lots of black willies. What do you think, guys? This is the new me. This is the new. The new Sam is in full effect. Check out the university. It's a bit strange that inside a university they have a massive model of a rocket. Hmm. This used to be, well, when I first came here, this was a billiard hall. Uh, I don't know what it, was, what it was before that. I think it might have been a, a cinema. Well, now it's just, uh, well, just like an empty building. Um, upstairs is like a concert hall in there and uh, downstairs. Well, I'm coming here now today to pick up, to pick up a sign that I ordered that I should have, that I should have got, well, ages ago, but it's going to save my life. We're going here, Samuel Yacht. So dark. It's 
Prosím vás, tady je napsáno, že zakrvají ty dvě a my na lidi odkrvat. Může odkrvat je začalo, potom zakrvají. Já šel. Spasíba. Tablička nejde, dobře? Dobře. 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 Um, the car is pulling out basically. Yeah, uh -huh. And the asphalt mini cutter is sure to be good. Okay, what's this sign for? Well, when I pull out my driveway, I can't see the road. So I'm pulling out blind, and you know, someone could just crash into me. So this basically tells other motorists, I put this in the road, so it blocks the road off, and it tells other motorists, just wait for a second because my car's pulling out the driveway. I'll tell you a little story. In the early 2000s, I had my car stolen in Russia. And it was a big thing at the time. People would steal cars in order to sell them back to the owners. And uh, my car was stolen. And uh, I had to come and see the, uh, the main uh, criminal in charge of it. And he was located here in this billiard hall. I'm not going to say any of his name or anything like that. But yeah, that was my first time here in this, uh, well, former billiard hall. <laughs>